modern networks actually you need to implement what is called high availability and to reach high availability you need to implement redundancy in the network which means that if there is a device that fail there is another device that can actually uh, take over okay so there is always an active and standby or active active routers okay so today we are going to talk about uh, hot standby routing protocol HSRP HSRP is basically works like this there is always a an active router and the rest are standby whenever there is uh, whenever the, st the the active router fails the uh, there is another router that will take over okay so let's go to the configuration and i will show you how to configure uh, hsrp and indeed we're going to actually uh, configure also uh, track so we're going to track those uh, this interface for example and if this interface fails okay there is also a backup path okay via the distribution router number two which is this guy right here okay so let's say those links are critical that take us to the data center okay via distribution layer and we are going to track this interface and decrement the priority okay and there is always backup path to reach high availability okay so let's start the configuration so to configure hsrp we need to go under the uh, vlan so i have a couple of vlans created vlan 100 on this side here okay and vlan 200 on this side right here okay so vlan 100 and 200 are created on a boat the distribution layer switches but i create vlan 100 just on the axis layer switch right here and the vlan 200 on the axis layer switch right here axis layer uh, switch number two so uh, for the um, for demonstration purposes we're going to actually use vlan 100 and i will show you how to actually configure and verify hsrp so let's start uh, let's get to under vlan 100 and to configure hsrp you start with standby and the group okay number group one and then you give it a virtual ip address which is from the vlan 100 which is uh, 100.1.1.255 right 254 255 is the broadcast okay and then standby one and then we need to enable what is called preemption so preemption we are telling the router to kick the other router out and become the king of the hill you know the, the active router basically uh, if your priority is higher so the higher priority in hsrp wins the competition and we will demonstrate that in this video actually so standby preempt and also we need actually to configure the priority so standby one and then priority let's give it 150 that's priority and that's it exit okay let's go to the other side okay uh, to verify hsrp actually before we go to the outside we can actually do show a standby command here we go and as you can see here we are the active router means the uh, distribution layers which one is the active router the virtual ip address is this right and actually the local router which means this router that i'm on right now is the active one and standby unknown unknown means that the other side is not configured yet the priority is 150 so basically this one will win because we're going to give priority of 400 to the other guy and the group name is hsrp vlan 101 we're going to do the same okay configuration on the other side vlan 100 and then standby one and then uh, the IP address will be 101.254, the same virtual IP address. Then the standby one preempt and standby one and then priority will be um, 100 for this router. Okay, 
exit plus to show um, standby. At this point, we can see that this guy here is the is still in speak. So there are modes actually when the uh, router actually starts. Uh, initial mode, init, and then speak, and then either active or standby. As you can see in the message right here, this router is the standby one. Okay, so from speak to the standby uh, mode. If we do show standby again, we can see that actually on VLAN 100, the group number one, the state is the standby router. Okay, why is that? Because the uh, priority is lower than uh, distribution layer number one. Okay. So, uh, since we know actually how to configure the uh, HSRP, okay, and we can verify it by using show standby, show standby VLAN, so do show um, standby and then followed by actually a VLAN number, a VLAN 100, for example, and here we go. We get the same, actually, the same uh, configuration. So uh, what I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to actually configure this interface here, the upstream link to the router one, that will actually take us to the uh, data center, okay? As actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to track this interface, and if this interface goes down, okay, then this switch here will be the active router because there is a backup path okay to the data center what i did actually uh, in the background i configured the access uh, i configured the static route on both okay configured the default route on both dls1 and dls2 to reach the uh, data center okay so let's go ahead and actually uh, configure the track to configure the track you start with the keyword track and then track number one and then what we actually want to track, we want to track interface and what interface we want to track, gigabit zero, three right there, which take us to the data center, right? And then we'll track line protocol, okay? So after that, we need to go under the VLAN 100 and the issue standby, okay, one, and we want to actually track, okay? Track keyword, send by one, and then track, track, okay, and track number, which is number one that we created earlier, and then we want to decrement. So we want to decrement the priority lower than the standby router, which have 200. So I'm going to take, okay, decrement it with 51 because we have 150, and here we go. So now I'm going to issue a ping. Okay, I'm going to issue ping from this axis layer here, or from the uh, axis layer switch right here, okay, and see what will happen. So uh, I think uh, I should check if I have connectivity. So let's ping. Um, okay, show track interface brief on this guy here, and the config terminal. IP default, okay, gateway is 100.1.254, okay, which is the virtual IP address, okay, for the uh, standby, for the active router, and that's it. So let's try to ping, actually, um, let's try to ping let's ping um, 10.0.0.1 see what will happen uh, ping 10.0.0.1 okay show ip route i think show show ip route on this switch and okay let's configure this one no ip routing okay and let's try again, uh, ping, ping 10.0.0.1, mm -hmm. the ping doesn't work, show run, we're going to do some troubleshooting, show run, actually include IP default, ok, 
Okay. Here we go. So IP default is the uh, this router here. Okay, and then show VLAN brief. Should see VLAN 100, and let's actually configure uh, a VLAN 100. Things VLAN 100, and let's give it an IP address. IP address 100.1.1.3255555 slash 24 mask and exit and let's do ping 100.1.1.1 and see what will happen right now um, the ping is not working so this actually uh, okay exit ping Let's ping 100.1.1.2. The ping is not successful. Probably some spanny three is actually. Uh, let's check the. Um, okay. Show spanny three. Uh, VLAN 100 actually, VLAN 100, so we have the gigabit 01 is to reach the root bridge for VLAN 100. Let's ping 100.1.1.1, there we go. At this point we should actually ping, let's check if we actually have a trunk link working to the uh, distribution layer switch uh, show actually show interface um, trunk here we go so we're trunking and a lot of VLANs are right there let's go to this guy here we show like interface brief make sure Okay, do ping 100.1.1.3. Check if there is connectivity. LS1. Mm -hmm. I cannot ping it actually. Uh, show interface and trunk. So we are trunking on all interfaces, including this interface right here. Uh, I'm gonna go back and show show IP interface brief. Okay, administratively down. That's the problem. Face V level one hundred and no shut down. Okay. And the ping ping one hundred one hundred one hundred one this point we can ping and then ping 10 to 0 to 0 to 1 and see if the ping will be successful we cannot reach the other side okay because actually this router here doesn't know actually to reach this network so I'm gonna go to router 1 and configure a static route IP route to reach 100.1 1.1.055 okay, slash 24 mask okay send it to next hop IP address which is 192.168.1. I think dot one there we go uh, you show IP in the case of brief to check the okay so uh, gigabit 01 is the IP address right here, which means that the IP address on this interface is is fine. So let's do ping or just ping in the privilege mode one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one right and ping one hundred dot one dot one dot three right and let's go back to the uh, switch one and ping okay one hundred ping 10.0.0.1 and we need to repeat the ping 1000 times or 10,000 times here we go and while I'm pinging right now 
I'm gonna go to um, this guy right here okay this guy and under in case gig 0 slash 3 I'm gonna do shut see what will happen in here as you can see the ping is failing right now so it need to take the okay mm -hmm. so the ping is failing uh, actually HSRP uh, are three seconds take three seconds you can configure it or tune it to take less than three seconds so what I need to do I'm gonna go to the router here and also add another actually uh, configure terminal and add another static route that actually will go to 2.1 uh, okay through this interface right here okay so um, which means that will actually uh, okay so uh, this is the root okay we need also to configure spanning three so this will be the root okay uh, for VLAN 100 root primary and this will be root secondary so um, let's do that the ping is working fine as I configure the let's repeat the steps okay let's do the ping and 10,000 and let's actually bring the interface up no shot okay so this one will be the active router and this one will be the standby right because the interface has came up the priority 150 here and 100 here so we'll have the opposite right so let's check the ping as you can see right here it fails for less than you know uh, three seconds and then the ping continues which means it take this path right here okay so while I'm pinging, I'm gonna go again and um, shut down this port and see what will happen. Here we go. You see that? It's right there, okay? So it fails and then it goes through this path right here. Isn't this amazing? I'm gonna do it once again. No, I'm joking, okay? I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.